Hey guys, it's your vision girl Joanna Jadelia, and today I am back with another video. This is my winter look. Outside is really cool, so I had to, you know, layer up and what's not. But and this is my little trusty hat. So if you're hating, go on and hate. So anyway, so today I'll be doing a map buying, but a Q and A map buying. So today we're gonna have. This is why I have my food here. So I decided to order some KFC. So yes, I'll be doing a map buying with KFC food. Okay, student life, deal with it. So my popcorn chicken was 65 pesos, which is basically $6.50, sometimes, yeah, based on how the weight is. The apple pie was 35 pesos, which is $3.50 Bajan dollars. And then I decided to get a mega box. Yeah, so in my mega box I have, uh, Chicken sandwich, medium fries. Um, the side I chose was coleslaw, but they called me and told me that I couldn't get coleslaw. So I think they gave me mashed potato and gravy, which they call is um, puree or something like that on here. Or, I think that's what it's called. So anyways, uh, what else did it come in? Oh, and the chicken strip. So, and the sandwich I got was barbecue, and the chicken strip is barbecue because I love barbecue. So the mega box was altogether 139 pesos, which is like, run off to $14 beta. And, oh, and it also came with the juice. No, I wanted Sprite, chose apple for me. I've never had apple, but I, I'm not a big fan of apple juice, but we gotta let it go. So I went for my other bag, because I ordered from KFC before, and this is a person who packed, like, I'm still going through these sauces. So I went to see this other bag if I do have ketchup, and I do, so we're all good. And I also have salsa, so we might make use of that. So I am hungry, so, oh, I have to show you that. Ooh, ooh, y'all see that chicken strip, look at that. Look at that view, and that bread is so big. You like, calm me down. Sorry, you like, I am hungry. I haven't eaten for the day. Yes. So, anyways, let's get. I am also a slow eater, but I also like hot, hot food. So I want to preserve my heat. But I'll, you know, try to be in and out in terms of question. What should I start with? I'm gonna need a knife and fork. Yes, I'm like that sometimes. Okay, my first question is, do you believe in love at first sight? I feel like I might have to do a part two because these are a lot of questions. But do you believe in love at first sight? No, not really, no. Mm. Hold up. This, oh. this spicy barbecue is so good. And I love barbecue. So I've had like, you know, if my lips look dry at some point, it's really cool and yeah. But anyways, look, look at it. I mean, y'all need to see a closer. Look at that. That is good. I have medium chips. This is good. Listen, I'm trying everything at this point. I'm not a big fan of dip chips, but I feel like it doesn't really come salted or as salted as I like. But it's not bad. And they also give me napkins, which I'm good, which I'm happy about because even though I'm not a messy eater, I like my napkins. Which is, I don't even know why I decided to do that my I do a Q&A because I hate eating in front of people and I hate talking and eating, especially around people. Like when people try to talk to me, I literally cover my food and pack it all the way. So we will see if I even get this Q&A and not buying them. Okay? So anyways, so I don't believe in love at first sight, like, nah. Mm, I don't know how they smell. This is the mashed potato and like the pure thing. Like the gravy, whatever. Okay, so I have my little spoon here. Yeah, that's okay. Mm. Okay, this is not bad. And it's pretty salty. And it's warm, so I'm definitely having to eat this right now. I'm gonna have to eat this first. Sorry, it's really like the heat I can feel going down my throat. Yeah. Anyway, short hair alone. I, I guess if this person asked me, like, do I prefer my short hair or when I have longer hair? Um, I'm, I'm really liking my short hair. To be honest, my only thing is that I, I'm a person who loves to get the most out of something. So it's like, obviously with long, longer hair, I can do more styles and what's not. But right now, I'm going to have to say short hair. Um, do I wear makeup every day? Nope. <laughs> I do not. I Matter of fact, I rarely wear makeup like i probably would only wear makeup on special occasions like if i'm going out like that kind of thing but i rarely wear makeup 
I'm a shopaholic. Um, I could be if I have money. <laughs> so I'm a um, I'm a window holic. You know, window shopping. I love to do that. Like, that is me. I will be on Shein. If y'all saw my cart right now, my cart is full of so many things. My favorites, my like, whatever you could like, save things. Powerful. But yeah. Um. How many Instagram followers and pictures do I have? I don't know, but my Instagram is linked down below, so you can check that. What's my pet's name? Um, I don't really have a pet. We have like family pets, so we have two dogs, Tina and Rossi, I think. Rossi, no, Rossi's the one that got away. Rocky. Oh, Lord, please don't kill me. Ross mm, I think Rossi's the one that got away, so I'm gonna go with Rocky. And if it's not Rocky, then my sister should comment down below what is the name of our dogs. So yeah, what else do we have? We have fish, but they're just fish. Um, if we were supposed to give them a name, we call them koi fish because they're koi fish. So, yeah, um, I think that's all the pets that we have. Okay. Um, last thing that made me cry. My life. No, like, I'm kidding. More like the, like, my depressing situation that I'm in. Or depression, let me just say that. That's what made me cry last thing. Um, let's see. Good stuff. Mm, okay. Next question, would I date my best friend? No. Sorry, but no. Um, not like anything's wrong with them, but I need you to stay my best friend for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So, no. Have I ever met someone famous? Um, not really. Like, I've probably seen, um, I remember this time in London, I saw Ovi from Love Island. If you don't know who I'm talking about, that. Like, how could you not? But Ovi from Love Island. Cute. Anyways, um, who else? I mean, I got a signature from Admiral. I think it's Admiral. I don't know if he's like that famous or whatever, but yeah. Okay, but I like to be famous. Um, I don't want to say famous, like, ooh, y'all see how? Look at this. This is the like, this is the chicken sandwich in my hand. Can y'all see my face? No, you cannot. This is look how big this is. Wow. And this is the barbecue. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is this is going to pull. And it's and these are just the chips that I came with. So, okay, next question. Oh wait, did I answer about what I'd like to be famous? I don't think I would want to be famous. I just want to be like, um, like comfortable, comfortably living. You know, lifestyle for my family and what's not. Um, yeah, if I could be famous, I think I'd rather be famous for like helping people. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not like spotlight kind of person mm. why did this taste like it's trying to be malt like if y'all know what malt y'all have to know what malt is like small to I don't know I don't really like apple juice but this is basically just carbonated apple juice it's not bad but oh my gosh look at this y'all see this gloriousness yes I got barbecue sandwich also because barbecue is my life but you see that cheese look at that Mm. And, and it smells, and I can still feel the heat. Anyways, Whew, this is gonna be oh my, oh my goodness. Okay. Anyways, do I like scary movies? Um, try not, yeah. I, I feel like I, I laugh more. So I don't really get really scared. I feel like I just really laugh through it all. But yeah. Okay, so this chicken is basically like the same chicken strip. It's the barbecue, but it's good. Alright, now let me try to get a bite of this entire thing so I get everything together. Please don't judge me. You know, I'm trying to bite into this. Okay? <laughs> I see it eating in front of people. But I'm gonna try, okay? Um, sauce inside it. It's not mayonnaise, but you probably have mayonnaise in here too. But I don't know what it is, but that is some good stuff. I don't know if y'all see if y'all see the sauce, but I have no idea what it is. But 
it tastes kind of sweet. Why do Barbados KFC not have this? Like, I, I mean, I'm not a KFC fan, but especially back home, I prefer Shafat. If you don't know what Shafat is, I'm gonna insert it. But does Barbados KFC have spicy barbecue? Because if they don't, they need to. Because what are they doing wrong? I mean, I need to find out what Mexico is doing right. Because this, I am in love with this. Yeah. This is good. This is really good. Mm -hmm. What is my favorite artist? Well, who is my favorite artist? Mm, I don't have like a top like favorite favorite, but some of my favorite artists are J. Cole, Joyner. Um, who else do I like? I like a lot. I, I feel like I like a lot of people, but J. Cole and Joyner has to be like there for me. Okay, next question is do I eat meat? Um, I really only eat like chicken. I've had turkey sometimes. But, okay, let me get out of my mouth so you can eat because people who know me are gonna be like, well, I was raised in a vegetarian home. And then once I was introduced to my grandmother's cooking, which is about like really, really cooking, she introduced me to chicken. And from since then, I've never been a vegetarian. I'm Courtney, because Courtney always thinks that I'm a vegetarian. This is for you. Courtney, I am not a vegetarian. I do eat chicken. I do eat turkey, beef. Mm, no, um, I'm not big on beef. I think I've had it like a few times, but no. Um, have I ever had bacon? No. So really, it's just chicken and turkey for me. I've had ox tail, which isn't bad, which is not bad to be honest, but yeah. That's, that's it. Star sign, I am a Gemini. Gemini. I did a TikTok kind of like that on like just a few facts about me so y'all can head over to my TikTok and watch that or I might just link it down below but we'll see. The next one is watch my face. Oh I didn't get to show y'all the bread. Look at this. Look at this bread. Oh I like the sauce. Hmm. Y'all have to see this in 4K okay. I don't even like tomatoes but I will eat this tomato because wow. Oh, look, look, let, us, let me eat this lettuce too because I don't know the last time I had vegetables. So, you know, yeah. Uh, what's my height? Okay, I feel like I have to be 5'1 by now. So, I mean, I feel like I have to be 5'1 by now. So, I'm gonna say 5'1. Okay, next question um, What talents do I have? Guess down below. Like, pause this video right now and guess down below what talents do you think I have? Do I, do I look like if I have talents? Anyways, I'm gonna have to say my talents are I can sing when I'm ready. <laughs> I can sing when I'm ready. Um, I play the violin, even though I haven't played in a long time. Um, what else? Oh, I'm good at sports, especially like track and field. Love to beat it up on a track, that's me. And any other talents, I have no idea. But it's possible, I just haven't like, found them, I guess. Favorite pizza topping? Please don't kill me for this, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very sorry, but I do love pineapple on pizza. I'm, I've said it, maybe I'm controversial, but I've said it. Pine. What's something people find weird that I like? Me. I'm just... <laughs> people probably find me weird, but I like myself. But... Um, I'll probably have to say hot milk and cereal. Like that's the only time I really have milk, if it's hot. I'm sorry, but I can't, I do not, I do not like cold milk. But yeah, I think um, it has to be hot milk and cereal or just hot milk with anything. I would have hot milk with anything. Yeah, am I single? No. I'm off the market, baby. Not like if anyone will buy me on the market, but I'm off the market, so no, I am not seeing. What is the craziest stuff I've ever done in my life? But that list is not too long. Um, <laughs> where should I start? Um, I probably have to say. I, I'm, I'm not gonna tell you all the craziest, craziest. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention something that was pretty crazy when I went to a third park. That was scary. Like, there's so many times I thought I would like, especially the time when I was on this ride and like. It did not feel secure, so I really thought that I was going to die. 
but yeah i'm still here today so that's good um i'm, I'm gonna say that was one of my craziest things how do i react when i'm angry well i really don't get angry like that but i probably i guess i get really quiet I don't know, I, I just really get real quiet to be honest, like, I'm, I just don't feel like wasting time or like energy like that, so I'm just like, you know what, let it be, and I just think in my head. I feel like I was eating that sandwich for the longest time, so like, I have to save some of that for later too. I don't think I could eat all of that, the popcorn chicken, it's not as popcorn-y looking as I thought, it really looks like miniature nuggets, I don't know, or maybe I haven't had popcorn chicken in a long time. Miniature. Mm. It's good. It's, it reminds me just of nuggets. Like it's salty. Really salty. Mm. Look at that. Y'all see that? This is good though. Do I have any regrets in my life? Yes, I do. Um, I don't know. Like, I think. I want to say coming here. I regret coming here because I did learn. Some stuff about myself and i you know got to experience the spanish and the mexico whatever but this university on a whole um i think i regret not like researching as much about it because the stuff that i found out about this university i'm like i don't really like it you know what i'm saying so i think i regret not doing as much research and yeah and then i guess i regret not living off norm but that's a whole long story but this question is, oh, how am I really doing? Like, I guess I want the truth of how I am, like mentally and emotionally and all that stuff. That is a loaded question. But, um, hold on. Um, I don't know, like, I guess because of this vacation and stuff, I'm okay. Mentally, I am going through a lot. But um, hopefully, hopefully some stuff can, you know, turn around for me and i'd be in a better you know mental space but more like disappointed in a lot of stuff is it a lot i'm i'm disappointed about a situation that i am in and yeah i'm like okay i'm living i find happiness where i can you know i do what i gotta do so i'm okay that's it that's what i can say and i'll be better you know what inspired you to start youtube that's a good question. Um, hmm. I don't know. Was it really a big? There wasn't like an inspiration. It was more like okay. Growing up, me and my sister, my sister and I, whenever we would do stuff around the house, we used to act like it's being filmed. Like it was a YouTube channel. So in other words, like if I'm doing her hair, I'll start off be like, "Hey guys, I'm about to comb my sister hair," you know. And we just like we literally anything that we were doing, we would like talk about it like, for YouTube. Like even sometimes when we're not together, I used to watch a lot of like DIYs youtube and then i was like okay i could try to do my own DIY stuff because i love craft and what's not so then i started to just do those stuff and like introduce it to my family members and like you know little hats and so so on and then you know my aunt and my uncle was like you know this could go somewhere and i was like mm, okay and be like because i like would try i would try a whole lot of stuff and like you know my family members be like oh you should share that with what's not so then i i thought about you know actually starting a youtube but then my 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 set was like Oh, I'm gonna need a camera, and I really don't like know the whole process of how to really start YouTube, but yeah. And then it just got to the point where I had a lot of ideas. I thought about starting YouTube like what year was that when we graduated? 2017, I think. Yeah, but I was like, I don't know, I just don't know why I didn't. But eventually, I was like, let me just hop on it and see what happens and then also um what motivated me right what motivated me would i have to say courtney because talking to, if y'all don't know courtney then what are you but courtney motivated me motivated me to you know start with youtube because i always had the mindset you know you need to do all of this that was my thinking so i was like i don't know but then when i met courtney well not when i met courtney oh my gosh i knew courtney but like talking to courtney when she started her youtube channel she was like no you know she does this or what's not i'm like oh so it really is possible and then she was like yes you should because i have like Courtney believes that I have like these like ideas or something that I should write a book. It's it's not crazy, but anyways. So then she really wanted to be like, okay, well, I guess I could like you know I really could start a YouTube channel. So yeah, I guess that's the whole story there. I and mean, it's really something that I love to do, and um, it also lets me. I think also what inspired me to is that I want to. I want to like inspire myself, you know, learn stuff about myself and just see my growth. So it's a way for me to. Um, 
watch my growth where I can look back on those videos and be like, oh, that's how I really used to do makeup? You know, is that really how I used to do my hair? I just really see my growth. Am I good at any sport? Well, I've mentioned before, but I am good at track and field. I'm good at football. I play basketball a few times, but I'm not like, you know, like, oh, I know no basketball, basketball. But I think if I really like delve into it more, I'll be good at basketball too because, hello. And don't talk about my height because I can be good at basketball still. So. Okay. Um, any other sport? I would like to believe that I'm good at volleyball. I mean, I come from a family of volleyballers, so I believe in that's in my blood. Even though, you know, I said what I said. I'm good at volleyball. There we go. I still have some. I'm gonna try this apple pie. I'm gonna talk to you guys. I can't remember the last time I had an apple pie, to be honest. But here we go. It feels pretty. It feels smaller. Than I, than I expected. Oops, sorry. I was looking for questions as well. Like, where's my tissue? This is what I put right here. Oh, this is, oh, this is very small. And what is that black stuff you show? I don't know, it's smaller than I expected, but I guess with 350, maybe it's, you know. Sorry, I, I don't really like to with my hands. Don't judge me. This doesn't feel like an apple pie. This, but they fry it and not really bake it like an apple pie. But I don't know. Let's see. Let me show you guys. Inside, that looks good. It's not bad. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be. Though. That does look good though. Mm, I kind of like that. It's not too sweet but I don't think people would. Who is my favorite sibling? I don't have a favorite sibling. Um, that's just the raw truth of it. I don't have a favorite sibling because they're like on two different spectrums. Like they both annoy me to the, to the maximum. Like I both, I cannot stand neither of one of them sometimes. So, I don't have a sibling. I don't have a We have a lot. We all just have a lot of good time together. So I love. I guess I love them or whatever. Like, whatever love is. I don't. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> they know I love them and what's not. So we just finish up with these few more questions. Um, I finished Apple Pie. I don't think I'll be buying it again. Like it was okay, but like for 35 pesos, or maybe it wasn't sweet because I was drinking the juice. But it wasn't sweet to me. What other languages do I speak? <laughs> I can speak English, um, Beijing, even though it's not a language, it's a dialect, and I can speak Spanish when I'm ready. My two, English and Spanish. Any more questions? Do I have any birthmarks? And if so, where? Um, as far as I know, I don't have any birthmarks, but a time my mom told me that it was in my face, it's like with my left side, which I'm thinking now looking back, it's probably this area, because before I was really dark, so like the way how you can see marks on my face, you couldn't, like. So I'm going to guess that this is supposed to be my birthmark, but as far as I know, I don't have a birthmark. And I think on my, my, in my records, it doesn't say that I have a birthmark. And I'm the only one that seems to don't have a birthmark. So yeah, that's great. Felt pretty left out and felt that my birth, but I, okay. I felt that like, if you don't have a birthmark, you weren't really born. So I used to think that because I didn't have a, <laughs> please don't judge me. I, I never really used to watch a lot of TV, so I can't even blame it on watching a lot of TV. But y'all probably, oh, I have a little drag underneath here, by the way. If, was wondering what is that on my head but yeah um i thought that because i didn't have a birthmark that i was like some like science experiment or like like i didn't have a natural birth so for for a time i thought that i was um you know my birth was a c section but then i found i wasn't but I, I don't know why i don't have a birthmark but yeah i just used to think a lot of stuff <laughs> have i ever been featured in the news yeah i have like i think once for I was the president of the student council, so I did like a little like interview thing. Um, which one I can't mean? I can't remember, but maybe if you type in on Google like Joanna, if you type my name, actually never mind. We're not going. We're not going into that. So, anyways, yes, I have. Um, okay, this one is who is my favorite roommate? Ooh, this person. This person want the tea. Um, I don't have any roommates. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm guess they're, they're probably talking about my roommates, Diana and Kabil um i as a parent i don't have a favorite roommate um but i guess like i would say i get along more 
I don't know if this is gonna be like, like make them come and fight me or something, but it's the real truth. I don't have a favorite, but I have to say I get along more with Deanna. So yeah. Cause that's cool and everything. Like they're both cool mates. Probably the best roommates I've had so far. But I feel no, Esfid, Esfid. She was one of like my first roommates. Esfid, Lana. It is. But yeah, I'll probably say that I get along better with Deanna. So okay, I have two more questions here. I'm just seeing who this question came from. I know that these questions are just so. You know what? This. Anyways. Question number one is, why haven't you not showed anyone your child? <laughs> so the question is, why don't you not? Why haven't you not shown anyone your child, and why don't you not talk about her? I'm gonna kill this person. But anyways, um, I do not have any children. I am no baby mother. I haven't adopted any child. However, the person, the child that this person is referring to is my boyfriend's cousin second cousin or what yeah his second cousin so really true she's like my baby to be honest and i do sometimes claim her as my daughter but she's not my biological daughter or my adopted daughter but i do not have any children you want to be dangerous but i don't have any children i am a single i was about to say i'm a single mother but if i say i'm a single mother then you know yeah I don't have any children guys and this next question which is the last question and what so when I ask for like you know lit give me the juicy questions I don't think this is what I meant but because this person knows that it's cool I guess I will answer so next question is do I have any exes uh, if I do would I take back my ex says um, I do have exes and no because that was a time in my life and I'm comfortable where I am and I don't need to go back there so I don't have like any bad feelings or like I hate the mind thing like I still like I think I can still be um, what's the polite word? that's not where I want but I can still be polite and what's not so then no I would not take back any of them sorry not sorry but yeah, and I don't think I don't think they would I'm not trying to be like, you know, above them or whatever because I don't think they will take me back either. And it's not like there's anything wrong with me, you know. Or maybe there is and I just don't know. But ask me what is um uh, one of my biggest lies. Well here is like what's the biggest lie I told my sibling. Um I can't remember, I probably told my younger sibling Jenny so many lies. But I probably think the biggest lie I used to tell her was that she was allergic to sugar or something i think i used to like i told her that she either used to be was allergic to sugar because i didn't want to share my snacks with her and to be honest i have a very convincing story because i have eczema so i would show her i'd be like your oh wait, i can't really show you this but i'd be like your hand is gonna get like this and your mouth and whatever if you eat this snack so you can have it and she went on for years believing that you know yeah i think that's the one of the biggest things i probably told her and that she probably low-key hate me for her but it's all good so anyways guys, so we have come to the end of the video and I don't know why I don't look in my camera. I am so sorry, but now I'm looking at you guys and I'm telling you thank you so much for watching and you know, it was good to have you here. Thanks for sending me those questions and if y'all want me to do a part two, I can do a part two because I, I think I still do have some more questions to go through. Just want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!